2016. And that time, water supply in Palorinha was really a big challenge. So we started with the emergency phase, where we were tracking water from Obongi, then we shortened the distance, started tracking from Angalia Chin, a number of partners came in and started looking at the recovery phase and development phase through the construction of boreholes that are more sustainable options and less expensive to maintain. So the URCS in that agenda, with support from the German Red Cross and funding from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for German, we drilled this borehole where we are currently standing. Can we look at the self-reliance aspect? How do they become self-reliant? We are only providing the water for domestic use for consumption, for drinking, because of issues centered around resources. Can we go back and think about farming? Can we use the powerful system that we have installed for production, for commercial farming, so that the refugees can generate income and become self-reliant? We are transitioning to utility approach. It is already happening in the parts of the country. In Southwest, the systems are now under the umbrella structure of government, National Water and Sewerage Corporation. So, in the near future, we will hand over everything to National Water and Sewerage Corporation, where every household has to buy, have to pay for water. Thank you so much for identifying and feeling the need and the pain of the people, especially our brothers who are living with us in the settlement. It is not until you visit the desert you will not know what the camels go through. Uh, Uganda, in the vision 2040, we are looking at a transformed society that is supposed to move from a peasant or subsistence economy to uh, a more improved and empowered economy, what we prefer to call a money economy. And this cannot be achieved if we have a sick population. We cannot have a healthy population when we have population drinking and using dirty water. And for that reason, I want to, in a special way, once again, thank you so much for giving our people clean and safe water. The full capacity of the installation is not yet realized. And the request of the next extensions going out to reach the local communities, I don't want to promise, because the maybe that's not the politician, I don't want to promise. But we are fundraising. The Angaria Chin is a story. Now we have we have proof that we do by our work. Now we are handing over because we want gradually this project in the hands of the local institutions and becomes part and parcel of the over and over and that population. And so, I'm aware, and I, I, I had you around and three and that. We are not yet fully exploiting the full capacity of this facility. You know when there is lack of water, the people that suffer most are the women and the children. You need to carry water from very far away. I see the commissioning and handing over of these projects back to the OPM. OPM, you are the government. You even look at the, uh, the local government. We are handing this thing back to you. Therefore, the maintenance and the sustainability need to be looked into properly by the <coughs> government of Uganda. You know, to put it a little forward, rightly, I want to express that Uganda Red Cross Society, we are permanent because we have the auxiliary role to the government of Uganda. 
we are put in place by the Act of Parliament. Therefore, we don't run away.